At first, watch this animation. After that, I'll explain what the matter is. Okay, the short animation that you have seen is created in order to demonstrate the three stages of fatigue that today we're gonna talk about. Suppose we have a piece of steel and here in middle we have made a small notch and then this bar has been fixed from one side and from the other side we apply a cyclic load. I mean the same conditions that you saw on the animation, okay? You know, the existence of this notch leads to a stress concentration around the notch, okay? And on the other hand, our applied load is cyclic. So the requirements of the initiation of a fatigue failure are fulfilled. It means the applied load is cyclic and there is a stress concentration because of the nut. You know, basically the fatigue phenomenon occurs at three stages or let's say three phases. Today, we would like to go through these three stages and explain them a bit in detail. So if you don't know what fatigue is or you have forgotten its concept, please take a look at this short lecture here and then come back here. So I have drawn a table and uh, I want to characterize the mentioned three stages of fatigue. All right. So the first stage is called crack initiation. You know, we have, as I told, the stress concentration around the notch and on the other hand, a cyclic load, right? So these two, I mean the existence of stress concentration and cyclic load could generate and or activate a micro crack. So this procedure called crack initiation, which is the first stage of fatigue. So as a brief explanation of crack initiation, I would put a micro crack generation results from stress concentration and cyclic load. Then size of the crack in this stage is very small as it's called a micro crack, you know, then with the naked eye is not typically visible. So I put no here. After that, development speed is low. Then the relevant factor of these states, I mean stage one, is stress concentration factor. And this is a schematic demonstration. Okay, then regarding stage two, which is the crack growth stage, you know, when the cyclic load keeps going on, the micro cracks become larger and larger and then they are no longer called micro crack but macro crack you know so as the explanation i put for this stage the micro cracks get larger and become macro crack so size of cracks are larger than stage one here then you might be able to recognize with the naked eye here because they are larger and the development speed of this stage is faster than the stage one, then the relevant factor for this stage is stress intensity factor because the, the crack has been already generated and there is already crack inside the structure, you know, uh, and now are growing. And this is a schematic demonstration of stage two. And regarding the stage three, I would say it is a very sudden plastic deformation and subsequently fracture. The size of crack is kind of meaningless here as we have reached the fracture point. The visibility with naked eye is yes. Development speed is very fast. Relevant factor 
is critical stress intensity factor or fracture toughness and finally this is the uh, schematic demonstration of the stage 3 of fatigue okay this was a short lecture about three stages of fatigue by the way if you have forgotten already or don't know the meanings of the stress concentration factor stress intensity factor and fracture toughness please watch this lecture here all are explained here all right stay tuned motivated and with me as well